Hey everyone, I'm Hank Tucker, the former sports editor of the Chronicle, still a men's basketball beat writer. Uh, I'm going to take you through my March Madness bracket for this NCAA tournament, uh, starting with Duke's region, the East region. Uh, I've got Yale, one of the Sweet 16, that's probably my boldest Cinderella pick as a 14 seed. I don't like LSU at all. Uh, they lost their head coach, Will Wade, to suspension a couple weeks ago. They've got a couple players hurt. Um, I think they're kind of ripe for an upset against Yale there. Uh, Yale's got a really good six foot six wing, Mie Oni, the Ivy League Player of the Year, uh, who's going to take them uh, past LSU, and I think they're going to beat Maryland too. I'm not sold on Maryland at all. Uh, their best player, Bruno Fernando, a post player. I think you need better guards uh, and wings in March than they have. Uh, so they're going to fall victim to Yale. The Bulldogs going to make it the second weekend of the Cinderella. Uh, another upset pick in this region is Liberty over Mississippi State. Uh, the middle of the pack in the SEC, I don't think. Uh, it's as strong as, as maybe they were seeded. Uh, I don't think the conference is, is as deep as it's cut out to be. So I've got Liberty beating Mississippi State, um, but still Virginia Tech and making it through the sec to the Sweet 16 to face Duke in Washington, D.C. That is a potential stumbling block for Duke right there, uh, but I think with Zion Williamson back, Duke gets its revenge on the Hokies. Eventually, still Elite Eight against Michigan State, uh, and Coach K will continue his dominance over Tom Izzo. They'll have no answer for Zion either. Duke will return to the Final Four for the first time since 2015. Uh, down west uh, is, I think, the one region that's most likely to blow up. There's always a wild card that makes the Final Four. Uh, the last six years, there's been at least one team seated seven or lower in the Final Four. I think this year that streak continues with Nevada down here. Uh, Nevada started the season in the preseason top ten. Uh, they suffered a couple losses, didn't play a very good schedule. Uh, so the, you know, but I think their talent is a little better than your average seven seed, Jordan Caroline. Uh, is a very good experience forward. They've got the Martin Twins that transferred from NC State uh, and uh, have done very well. Um, so I think they're gonna, they've got a tough matchup with Florida uh, in the first round, they'll get past that. Uh, I think Michigan doesn't score enough to, to wow me. They get upset in the second round. Texas Tech doesn't score a lot to wow me either. They get upset by Nevada. Then you've got uh, Florida State uh, beating Gonzaga, I think, in the Sweet 16 for the second year in a row. Uh, I think their size kind of overwhelms Gonzaga, which hasn't seen uh, uh, that caliber competition in a long time. Uh, then Nevada beats Florida State in the Elite Eight. I don't have very good reasons for that, but I wanted to hedge my ACC bias uh, with two other ACC teams in the Final Four anyway. Uh, so over on this side, uh, a lot less exciting for me. I think it'll be very, uh, very chalky. Uh, Virginia finally makes it to Tony Bennett's elusive first Final Four, uh, avenging their uh, humiliating loss last year to the 16th seed UMBC, a uh, historic 74-54 loss. Can all get past that and get to the Final Four. They're still a great team, uh, even though they lost to Florida State in the ACC semifinals. Uh, I've got Purdue beating Tennessee. I think Carson Edwards can have Purdue make a little run there. Um, and down here in the Midwest region, uh, I've got uh, an, another chalk uh, lead eight with UNC Kentucky. Uh, I think Auburn beats Kansas, the UNC can kind of dodge a bullet there, not having to play Kansas and Kansas City. Uh, but I think uh, Kentucky gets the better of UNC again. Ashton Higgins is going to lock down Kobe White again. They'll beat UNC for the second time this year to get to the Final Four. Um, Duke, Nevada, uh, they'll have all the outrage uh, that usually comes with Duke getting a cakewalk to the national championship game, even though Duke does play the four seed and the two seed here. Uh, but uh, Duke will beat Nevada pretty easily. They're a much better team. Uh, and so I see Duke kind of coasting into the championship game in Minneapolis that weekend. Uh, Virginia and Kentucky, two teams that will both be itching for revenge against Duke after Duke obviously uh, blew out Kentucky 118-84 uh, to 84 in the first night of the season in the Champions Classic. Duke beat Virginia twice as the only team to beat the Cavaliers uh, for the first, uh, for the all the regular season until Virginia lost to Florida State in the ACC tournament. I think Virginia gets its chance at revenge. It'll be a Duke-Virginia championship the matchup we were all deprived of uh, in the last uh, Saturday uh, in Charlotte uh, when Virginia lost in the semifinals. Uh, Duke, I think, beats Virginia for the third time this year. Uh, Zion and RJ are still too much for the Cavaliers to handle. Duke wins that game by 3, 71-68 uh, to win Coach K's sixth national championship and Duke's first since 2015. So thanks for watching.